All right, this is New Hampshire Track and Field, powered by Runner's Alley. I'm joined with a couple members of the Pinkerton Boys team, um, Connor Selany and Zach Plaza. Gentlemen, thanks for joining us. Um, as I was mentioning earlier, you're, uh, you're some of my first couple interviews since um, they finally officially canceled the spring season, which is a huge bummer. Um, how are you guys doing training-wise, and how's the remote learning um, going for both of you? We'll start with you, Zach. Uh, for me, I kind of, after the indoor season ended, took like two weeks off and then started running again. But now that the season's over, I kind of, I'm going to take a break for like one or two weeks and then start running again after that. Connor? Uh, for me, after uh, winter, I uh, was planning on going to nationals, so I kept training. And then that got canceled. And then... I trained for a couple more weeks and I found out this happened, but at the moment I'm just lifting and trying to get into better shape for Norwich. That makes sense. Um, so Connor, we'll stay with you. When did you start competing in track and field? Uh, eighth grade. Eighth grade for you? Yeah. Zach? I started in freshman year of high school. So I played my whole life before that. I played uh, baseball and hockey. And I kind of did cross country eighth grade year, I think I was, as like a like a cross training, trying to get like fit for hockey season. But I kind of liked it a lot, and decided to do a cross country and a track in high school. I uh, switched over. All right. When did you? Uh, what is your favorite track and field event, and what's your personal best? Mine would probably have to be the eight hundred. My best is a one fifty five, and. I like it just because it's like, it's not a all out sprint, but it still kind of is. And it's kind of like the distance that fits me best. <clears throat> Connor, how about you? Uh, mine is either the 200 or the 300, mainly the 300 hurdles, to be honest. It's a lot of fun and it's not just about like jumping. It's all about like keeping your composure. My best, I think is like a 39, a low 39, mid 39. I don't really know. Excellent. So, Connor, we'll stay with you. Describe your favorite competition memory. Pen relays. My favorite competition ever because we were going against teams that were very good and we never raced there. It was a new team. It was amazing. Um, I remember because it, it's just so fast paced. You get thrown onto the line really fast and you don't know what really what you're doing. And you don't realize that you're running until after the race. And that I was uh, that was four by four, right? Yeah. Yeah. But we were like, that was the first time a Pinkerton team has ever placed at Penn Relays. So it was how really many New Hampshire teams were placed out there, or New Hampshire individuals for that matter? Zach, how about you? What's your favorite uh, competition memory? I would probably have to be last year's D ones, the eight hundred, and the four by four. Also, that was pretty fun. Okay. If you could do any event in track and field, which one would it be and why? Uh, probably javelin. The javelin? Why? Yeah. I was I don't know. I was gonna try it this year, but the season got canceled. But I don't know. Since I played baseball, I feel like okay. I get to throw a jab decently. Connor, how about you? I really wanted to try the mile this year. <laughs> I I wanted to see I. I did the 800 last year and I did surprisingly better than I expected. So I said, let me try the mile. So. Okay. Was... And that, that 800 you did was in our, I think it was in our try meet, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All I right. That, I remember that. I was at the Exeter meet when like everyone was running the 800. Yeah. There was like 30 kids in that race. Mm -hmm. Um, all right. Describe your favorite workout. We'll Zach, we'll start with you. Um, Probably towards the end of the year, we should we usually do a four by 200 at like basically all out. So like 25s and that's pretty fun. It's painful, but it's fun. <laughs> Connor, how about you? My favorite workout was my freshman year. We did uh, like 200 meter hurdles with a hundred meter sprint at the end. We did like six of those with like two or three minute break in between. It was a lot, really painful, but with the guys I had, it was a lot of fun. Awesome. How about um, how your coach motivates you? I think you guys have a couple different coaches, but um, 
how does your coach motivate you? Well, for me, Q motivates me like when before a race, she always tells me I need to do this or I need to push myself as hard as I can. And then I have the throwing coach who always screams at me to get go faster, which really motivates me midway in the race. She's like the only voice I can actually hear when I'm racing, and it really pushes me. Zach? Uh, the distance head coach is Coach French, and he really helps motivate us by doing the work. He does a lot of the workouts with us. And during meets, he likes to scream at us a lot and just hype us up. Awesome. Really helpful. And what motivates you internally to do to do well? Uh, probably just other competition and success. Connor? Uh, not losing. I really want to win and always want to push myself to do my best. Awesome. Um, I know that the people watching can see this, but if you're planning to go to college, where are you going? And are you planning on competing in track and field? Connor, we'll stay with you. Uh, I'm going to Norwich, and I'm not competing. I'm doing the Ranger Challenge there, so I will be doing other things. There's no track and field, so. I'm going okay. to UNH, and I'm going to be doing track and field and cross country. Awesome. And what's your favorite thing about track and field? Um, Probably that, like, everyone's how good you are is, that like, can be actually determined by your times. Like in other sports, you have people, it's kind of just like you get stats and stuff, but you can actually like rank people according to their times in track and field so you know how actually good someone is. Stopwatch never lies. That's what's great about track and yep. field. How about you, Connor? Uh, probably the competition. It's a lot of fun. I've made a lot of friends too through it. The hurdlers, we all become friends because of the competition and all the stuff we go through. So it's really fun and yeah. All right, Connor, we'll stay with you. I have a feeling I know what your answer is going to be, but what's your favorite track facility? Uh, either the Reggie Lewis, probably, or Dartmouth. Okay, and how about outdoor? Um, UNH or Penn. Yep. How about you, Zach? Probably UNH for outdoor and either the Reggie or Dartmouth for indoor. Okay. Um. And now we've we've reached the uh, the kind of fun questions portion of our our episode here. Uh, do do you have any shout outs you want to make? Yeah, I'd like to give a shout out to my all my coaches, Coach French, Coach Corals, Wheaton, Carthus, all them helped me motivate me, help motivate me, all my teammates, and my family, my mom and my dad. They usually show up to every single meet, and my grandparents also. I don't think they've. I think they might have missed like one or two meets, but they come to every single meet. Connor, some shout outs? Uh, I want to shout out my family. They always come to my meets no matter where it is. If it's in a different state, usually one of them shows up. Uh, I want to shout out my coaches, especially Coach Norris and Coach Q. Those are my two biggest supporters from coaches. Those two always motivate me. And a big shout out to Manny Feliz from Concord. He was always been my friend who has always been there and I always loved racing against him, and I'm going to miss him. Awesome. All right, pre-meet pre -meet meal. What's your go-to? The day before, I used to go with some pasta and meatballs, and then for lunch or, like, the meal I eat before a race, usually a peanut butter and banana sandwich. Okay. Connor? Uh, the night before, I usually eat what's ever for dinner, and then the day of the race, I usually don't eat because I just never get myself to eat. And if I do, I eat oatmeal. Plus, you're in a 1,000 races every meet, too. So, yeah. you know, don't have any time. No. If you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go? Um, I'd probably go to Hungary. Hungary, okay. I'd probably go to Park City, Utah. Park City, Utah. Are you a big skier? Yeah. I was supposed to go there for April. Not April break. February break. Actually, no, not February break. I forget when it was. It April was sometime April. after indoor, but got since Corona, couldn't go. Got canceled. How about a favorite pre-race song? Uh, I don't usually really really listen to music before I race. I usually watch like other YouTube videos of like other races to like hype me up. Okay, Connor. 
Um, Lose Yourself by Eminem. It's always been my go-to song. I always sing it when I'm in the blocks, always focused. Okay. What would you do if you knew you couldn't fail? I have no clue. Um, I don't know. I'd probably start a business. It's a good one. Are you know. come up with anything yet? Should have read the uh, questions before this. No, nah, I know, but I was thinking about this one. I'd probably go out for Rangers. Okay. That's a good one. And uh, our last question here. What's the best advice or quote you've ever that's ever been given to you? Probably that a lot of people told, have told me, like, after I've had bad races, that the only race that matters is D1s. And that's really helpful to me because after, like, a bad race, you just know that it'll pay off at the end. Connor? Best advice I've ever gotten was just to keep pushing yourself and race like each race is your last race. Awesome. All right, guys, a real bummer that the spring season got canceled. I appreciate you uh, you joining us in the Hampshire Track and Field and Runner's Alley on um, on this interview. Um, wish the two of you the best of luck in school next year. And uh, take care and be safe, all right? Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for having us. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.